Hey everyone, I wanted to show you the process of creating an image project. You know, this is something that came after we first launched Markup, which was strictly just URLs, but we wanted to make sure that we were encapsulating more of the creative process and thought that images would be really helpful, especially as we look at Markup as being more of a central hub for all of your collaboration. Uh, so for us, this was a, a natural next step and eventually we'll have PDFs as well. I know that's a big uh, feature request for a lot of people. So depending on what you're using, uh, if it's Envision or you're, you're working on prototyping tools with Adobe XD or Photoshop, we will have integrations with those at some point. But for today, uh, you will just need to bring it in from your computer's library. So I've got a couple of illustrations here I wanted to pull up. You can create a project with as many images as you'd like, and then you can add and delete images from an image project later on. And uh, it takes two seconds to pull that up. An image project is denoted down here by the image logo. And likewise, you can change the name of the project or share this with anyone that you want. So if I go ahead and open up this project here, it'll take a few seconds. Uh, there's a couple of things in particular that I really love about image projects. So for one, if I wanted to uh, leave a comment, let's say, let's make this larger. No matter how I zoom on the project, that comment is gonna stay in that relative position. So I really, really enjoy that. And I love being able to go um, full width as well. So if you look at this uh, number here, you can change the percentage view for your screen. You can fit it in the window or by clicking this box out here, you can expand uh, to fit the entire width of your computer. So really like that. You can uh, likewise toggle between the two different images or however many images that you have in here up top. And if I wanna go back to normal view where I can see comments, same thing, you can still go back and forth here and look at comments accordingly. Um, so what I like about this is, you know, now I can just click these arrows instead of having to technically browse uh, and I can still stay in comment mode. So if I wanna say, let's change this. Depending on if I had a lot of images, it's very easy just to go back and forth between these comments by clicking the number. Um, you know, if you have 10 different images inside of one project, it makes it really seamless to bounce back and forth between those. Um, that's pretty much it for images. Again, this is going to expand over time uh, with things like being able to change the name of an image up here um, and being able to work with um, you know, more things around the addition and subtraction of images from image projects. But again, over here, you can actually add in images to the project um, or you can delete them if you'd like. You can also rotate them accordingly. So this is a still a pretty new part of markup, but we're really excited to, to bring it to you all. And, uh, it will get better over time. Thanks.